What is going on everybody? My name is Jason. Welcome to today's episode of my path to power. You can see on the screen I am throwing some bids out on Mr. Oscar. I've also got Coutinho and Kagawa up in the list because I think I might want to make a BPL team while some of these players are kind of cheap or at least get a BPL attack, something along those lines. And I thought, hey, the 4 2 3 one's working out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe throw out these bids on some of the, the cams that I think look pretty decent on FIFA. Now, I haven't used any of these guys on my main account, so I really can't say whether or not they're going to be good. But I figure, heck, why not? Let's try to pick them up anyways, because more often than not, they're probably going to go back up in price. Also picked up that Carlos Eduardo, their 1,600 coins open bid, but he'd been changed from an attacking mid to a center mid, which means after a little while, that card is going to go up to three, four, five thousand coins without a doubt in my mind. And I'll have made a nice little bit of profit on him. Had Mangala out for, thank goodness, only one game with an injury. I don't know what I do. Obviously, there's some other decent center back options. You've got, I believe his name is Reyes. It's a Mexican center back for Porto. And then you've got Ro Rojo, uh, the Argentinian center back. Uh, both of them look to be decent options. So I'm also in the market for uh, Alexandro because Sequeira, my left back, I can't remember if he's injured or or if he ran out of contracts, something along those lines. But I'm going to go pick up Alexandro because he fits in the squad nicely. And it's a, it's always a good thing to have players that can rotate in and out of your squad. And you can see at the top left right now, we're sitting at a record of 18, 2, and 2, and about 32,000 coins. And this was the time when I went out and I put loads of bids again on fitness cards for 150 coins, hoping that I can keep them, hoping that they'll help keep my team in check. 11,250 coins for Oscar. Not too shabby. I actually don't know what he's going for right now, but I'd be willing to bet that he's going to go up at least by a little bit, and I'll be able to make my coins back one way or another. Just like all or most players, if you get a player for like this was done, I believe on Friday or Saturday when I was out there doing this bit of trading and it's just a it was just a good time to trade because players were going for really cheap. People were getting them in packs, listing them for star price 150. And I was out there to have some deals. I'd be willing to bet that Oscar probably goes up to, uh, I don't know, maybe close to that 20K range. So if I hold on to him for a little while and then sell him on, I'll have made a nice bit of return on him. This guy, pretty darn nice BBVA side. And his striker, Pabone, uh, wow, what a little player he is. Uh, he's definitely one of those non-rares that I want to get my hands on. He's got four-star skills as well, and he seemed to be quite good in the air. Going to cross this one in. Nice, easy little cross. Diego Barcelos doesn't manage to put it away, but Quintero is there to knock it in. And this is actually a cool little finish. And uh, one of the things that EA introduced this year is kind of a uh, physics where, depending on how your player's feet are positioned, they'll do different sorts of things. You can see he gets the ball kind of tangled up under his feet a little bit, but he's still able to put away with his right foot which is only two star weak foot. I kind of make a mistake and play some poor defense right here. Take him down in the box. I really can't have too many complaints about that. I had to go for the tackle. Um, Mangala's a weird player. He's very good, but he for a, having 87 heading, he just like, he's never there on corners, it seems. So I don't really know it, what, what the deal is with him, but I would definitely rate him and say that if you guys are looking for a solid, cheap-ish center back option, then he is one to uh, to have a look at. Pabone, his striker, puts away the penalty uh, and shakes it, <laughs> shakes it for me, I guess. I don't know, shakes it in my face, but we're on the break yet again. Diego Barcelos, the attacking mid, or Brasilver attacking mid, one little fake shot inside, nice little rainbow flick and he's free on goal that four star weak foot does come in handy giving us a goal there in the 23rd minute and getting us the lead yet again but I would not be finished no I would not I had to, I wanted to uh, get a lead but it's always fun to kind of get now I'm starting to get comfortable with the skills on this game and the timing of when to use some of the skills so uh, as you saw in the in the yesterday's episode, I scored a couple nice goals, uh, one with Adair, and they say Quintero has two-star weak foot. Like, that is not a two-star weak foot goal. I'm going to throw that out there because that is a phenomenal finish, a lovely pass, and he just blasts it into the far corner with his right foot just inside the post. So I was pretty, I was pretty uh, happy with that performance from Quintero and only uh, asserting my belief that he's one of the best non-rare golds in the game, at least that I've used it this point but that is how that match is going to end so three to one we're making some good progress on our way through oh what division are we division eight division seven maybe i'm not quite sure uh but we're making some solid progress uh as we as we move our way on up in the world and plenty of transfers and really the transfers were all just fitness cards so there's really no point in uh in showing all of it but i did show some of it just to show you guys what i was picking up anyways guys that is how we're going to end this episode today trying to keep it short because some people said you know throw a short episode in uh with a 
long episode every every so often, so just try to mix it up. And that is what I am trying to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, like a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.